All right, thanks guys. Happy Saturday morning to you. Hopefully you had a good start to your weekend. Not too hungover here this morning. But anyway, uh, today is Small Business Saturday. So, uh, you know, please make sure you go out and support your local small businesses. Uh, I tried to do my part today and uh, support my local hardware store and buy a new rake. But uh, they were closed for Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, go figure. I guess a classic small business. Shut down the... Uh, Entire store for uh, personal matters. But uh, anyway, guys, we got ourselves some college basketball action here today for Saturday. couple really interesting games. So let's go ahead and dive into it. We're going to begin with Rhode Island squaring off against USF. And that's going to be a 5.30 p.m. Eastern tip-off. Now, the South Florida Battling Bulls are the one-and-a-half-point favorite with a total at 139. Now, we are 3-0 and in our last three daily best plays on Patreon.com slash Brock Page. And access to the daily best play costs just $1.99. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about right now, I'm going to explain a little bit more about it in just a few moments. We also won our last three straight extra daily picks on that site as well. And access to the extra daily pick costs just $2.99. Now, we currently have over 775 members signed up and active on that site. And if you want to join those folks and get in on the action, link for that site is in the description section below. And once again, that's patreon.com slash Brock Page. Now, when it comes to this Rhode Island USF contest here, we are seeing some early money coming in on Rhode Island and the under. It was actually a half a point move toward Rhodey. And a uh, half a point move downward on the total. So once again, USF open one and a half down to minus one. Total open 139 and a half down to 139 even. Now Rhode Island lost their uh, opening two contests in the 2020 season. They went 0-2 against the number in those games. Having said that though, uh, the Rhode Island Rams, they played two pretty tough teams in Boston College and Arizona State. Uh, both of those schools playing very tough against Villanova uh, in the early going here. Now, senior guard Fats Russell is scoring 18 points per contest, along with four boards and five assists. Russell's also getting three steals a game defensively, so he's all over the court, really getting the job done on both uh, ends of the, the hardwood. Now, Jeremy Shepard's also getting 15 a game for the Rams, three rebounds and a couple assists for the senior guard. Shepard's currently shooting over 61% from the field. Meanwhile, forward Antoine Walker is averaging a dozen points per contest, along with seven rebounds and three assists. Now, Rhodey scored 88 points in their opener against Arizona State, and they held the Boston College Eagles to just 69 total points in their most recent outing. So although the uh, record doesn't reflect it, these guys are playing pretty good basketball in, in, in many different facets. I do like the Rams to uh, get... Uh, you know, in the win column here today, I'm going to lean toward the Rhode Island Rams plus one and the under 139 in that game. Before we go ahead and move on, just want to take another quick time out and welcome you to the video. Got some lines and personal leans out for college basketball here on a Saturday. And once again, hopefully you guys are having a great start to your weekend. Hopefully you're not too hungover. If you are, uh, go ahead and crush some of those Thanksgiving leftovers. That'll make you feel real good. Uh, but anyway, before we dive into some more free content, guys, we're 3-0 and in our last three daily best plays on patreon.com slash Brock Page. And if you want access to our daily best play, it's only going to cost you just $1.99. We also went 3-0 and in our last three extra daily picks on that site as well. And access to the extra daily pick Cost just $2.99. Now, you might be wondering, why would you sign up for picks on Patreon where you can get them for free right here on YouTube? And that's certainly a great thought, a great consideration. But I'll tell you this much. If you were to go out there and bet every single game that's on the board, side and total, like I do here with my breakdowns on YouTube, it's certainly not a winning formula for success. You just don't want to go out there throwing darts, betting every single game on the board side in total. Now, as a matter of fact, if you end up doing that, it's a recipe for disaster. The books are way too smart. They're way too sharp with the numbers. The odds become massively more against you the more and more games you play like that. And to be honest with you, 
The bookies have just so much more money than you and I do combined to be able to absorb that type of action. Uh, you're certainly no threat uh, betting every single game on the board to them. So what I do on Patreon is I break it down and focus in on just three to four premium selections per day, sometimes more, sometimes a little less. Uh, they're my personal plays, games that I personally have action on. And I'll tell you this much, guys, I'm having a lot more success betting on games that way versus wagering on every single game on the slate side in total. Now, guys, we currently have over 775 members signed up and active on that site. There's a lot of people that are on my Patreon site. I appreciate each and every one of them, but it's not just some small rinky-dink site. This is a big operation. We got a lot of people signed up. And if you want to join those folks and get in on the action, link for that site is in the description section below. And once again, that's patreon.com slash Brock Page. And moving on, guys, we're going to take a look at Loyola Marymount squaring off against the Minnesota Golden Gophers. 6 p.m. Eastern tip-off. Minnesota's the 14-point favorite. Total's 144.5. Now, we are seeing early action on Loyola and the under in this one. It was actually a half a point fade of Minnesota and a one and a half point move toward the under. So uh, once again, the Gophers opened 14 and a half down to 14. Total open 146 down to 144 and a hook.